So, welcome to my office, my home office. You like it? It's I've been redecorating a little bit. It's definitely a comfy space now, comfortable, livable, workable space, and that's what's important to me. So I'm glad you're here. Welcome. And I won't deny for a minute that I know why you're here. I know you haven't seen the boys recently, and I've kept them under wraps, but you've made your appointment, you've shown up on time, so without further ado, let's see how they're doing right this way. They're in here. Who is it? Wait, put it away. I always knock so I don't have to see what they're doing. We're coming in. the dogs. They're sleeping. There are no dogs. Then why do I get the urge to bark at night sometimes? And why do I feel so territorial for no apparent reason? What is this? What are, what are you doing to this room? I am drawing. No. Drawing involves artwork on paper. This is not paper. That's why I'm not drawing. I'm drawing. As an artist, I explore new ideas, concepts, and surfaces. And what are you doing? Counting. I'm not even going to ask. Thanks. I'll add that. So, we're making a video again. You guys get to be in this one. <gasps> Ooh, do we get to be on camera this time? Don't get your hopes up. Hey, I'll take what I can get. I need this platform to practice my showmanship for my acting career. I'll just do it for something to do. So what do you want us to do this time? Uh, honestly, I, I don't know. Just entertain the beautiful listener again. Show off your room or something. Yeah. Did you know we have a room now? Well, I guess you're standing in it. You're actually standing in the same spot where I, Hamlet, died in my monologue play yesterday. You have no idea how thankful I am for your company. If I had tea, or cookies, or servants, I'd tell all of them to make you so happy that you'd never want to leave. And, in a sense, I do have servants, and I'm doing something similar enough. Have fun. Okay, that's enough drawing for now. I'll get back to my magnum opus later. Wow, it really is you. How have you been? What's been going on? Do you still live in the same place? How's your yard? Did you have a yard? I can't remember. How's Fluffy? Wait, was it you that had Fluffy? No, that was... Whoa, uh, hold on. Can't you see this person came to relax? Stop with the flood of questions. Here, come with me. I know he can be a little intense sometimes, but just be patient. He means well. I'm not mean. I said you mean well. You have good intentions. Oh. Also acting skills. Okay, so this is our room. We do actually live in here. We have a lot more space now than the closet. I kind of miss that closet, though. I really left my mark on it. 
and I think it left a mark on me. He's being somewhat literal, unfortunately. This room is nicer because it holds my art. I tried to build a bunk bed, but I accidentally started a fire and may have summoned some spirits. That was last month, in a nutshell. I was determined to finish what I started, but then Sunny bought us a bunk bed, so I'm channeling my power to better use. Which, turns out, is monologue plays. Pretty cool, huh? So... It's been a while since we've had the privilege to hang out with you. Oh, how we've missed you. You haven't ratted us out, have you? I hope you're taking our secret to your grave. We'll march you there, if we have to. Yeah, or carry you there. Nah, we're just missing. You're all right. Yeah, you're all right, and we're just missing. But seriously, keep it hush hush. Put a rush rush on the hush hush, yo. Yeah, I guess. Mum's the word. And Pa had better join her in this family of secrecy. Eh, enough metaphors. So, if we're relaxing you, what sorts of things would you like us to do? Hmm, silent type, huh? Just sitting there with that silly, beautiful grin on your face? That could be taken in many ways. Some of them non-suggestively. Or all of them non-suggestively. <gasps> right. I forgot my PG-13 fake label. Yeah. We don't want to spoil the innocence of this charming young soul. But oh, if we did want that. Oh, if we did want that. What? We could do it pretty easily, I guess. No. Oh, I suppose. I'm kind of the slow and steady type. I was always more of a love typhoon. That was my nickname in grade school. You never attended school, and no one in their right mind would have given you that name. Left minds can surprise you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Let's get going with this. I want to whisper sweet everythings delicately into your ear. Oh, Lord. I'll allow it. Against my better judgment. Just remember your label. I know, I know. PG 13.5. Have you ever seen one of these? Yes. I wasn't speaking to you. Just start your whispering. Yes, sir. Secret whisper. Platoon. Sporadic. Tiger lily. Or shreddish. I guess I'll just keep quiet then and give you some space. Yeah, great. I am in the zone. Zone. Region. Field. Container. Flow.
out here. I'm running out of words. You're running out of words? Well, yeah. I'm not finished reading the dictionary yet. You're seriously reading the dictionary? Yeah. Not the English one. I find the foreign dictionaries a little more raw. Better plots, too. You, you can't be serious. I swear to you, if you tell me spoilers, I will be so sad. I'll tell one of your secrets. You don't know any of my secrets. Uh-huh. Remember that one time, late at night, when we had a moment, and you got all misty and against your better judgment? Oh, my word. Okay. You're right. I won't spoil. I won't spoil the dictionary for you. <laughs> Always get my way. I'll take over for a bit then. But maybe a bit more organized. There, there now. Relax. Everything is going to be okay. You're here, safe with us. Everything is under control. You're comfortable, cozy, and calmly composed in this corner of our quiet room. Peaceful, be still. All is well. All is as it should be. We have not a worry in the world right now. Let's breathe for a minute together. I love breathing. This is my favorite part. We'll do a few counts of four, seven, eight breaths first. Three should be enough. We'll breathe in for four counts, hold for seven, and exhale for eight. Three times. Ready? Inhale for four. One, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Air in. Two, three, four. Hold it. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once more. Inhale. Two, three, four. Steady. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven seven, eight. There. There. Now you can just breathe comfortably, comfortably, easily, easily, at your own pace, making sure you're breathing from the diaphragm. Diaphragm. Go back to your dictionary. Later. <sighs> What do we do next? So, I don't know. Very funny. Mm-hmm. I could tell jokes. I don't think jokes are very relaxing. I will tell relaxing jokes. How could a joke be relaxing? They just wouldn't be funny jokes. Just relaxing ones. Is it really a joke then? I'll just laugh every now and then to show you guys it was a joke. Uh, this doesn't sound very effective. How about some humming instead? Okay. Joke humming? Regular humming. Wow, so serious today.
few moments alone with the beautiful listener. Uh, alone? You're not afraid? Well, I won't literally be alone with someone next to me. Uh, why do you always speak in riddles? Also, I can't just leave the room, you know. I know. Just go over to your corner and draw or, or something. Okay. Good idea. So, I just wanted to tell you a couple things. I know we don't get to see you very often, and that's kind of lame. But I wanted to defend Sonny a little bit. It's, it's not that he doesn't want us to see you. He's just got a lot on his plate. He's just got a lot on his plate sometimes. He's not a bad guy. I worry about him sometimes. Even though the nature of our relationship is a bit strange, I can tell he tends to get a little too critical of himself and doesn't always take that well. Without giving too many secrets away regarding the nature of our agreements, just know that we do what we can. Perfect. He's quite the character, huh? <laughs> really hard to believe we're the same person sometimes. 
Though, to be honest, the roles we play do tend to switch. Most of the time, I think of him like a son, or a kid brother, someone I have to constantly watch over and keep out of trouble. But then, on my harder days, he's always there for me, too. Even though he's undeniably his own, he does have a genuine heart. <laughs> he's the lovable kind of crazy, if that makes any sort of sense. Anyway, thanks for listening. We're always happy to have you here and to see you whenever we can. Seriously, thanks for sticking around with us. It means a lot. Hey guys, you want to see the next great work of this budding artiste? <laughs> How could we not? Right? Okay. Behold. <laughs> well done. It looks nice. Thank you. I tried to channel my inner monk, and then I asked him to hit a gong a few times, and I'd draw the zen that came out of it. That's quite a creative process. Very unique. You think Sunny will hang this one on the fridge? He hangs all your art on the fridge, but it's too full. He'll have to get rid of one of the older ones to fit it. That's okay. The other stuff was trash. Hey now. No, really. You don't remember? I was drawing pictures of garbage. Actually, I, I do now. How could I forget? Since you got quiet not alone time with the BL, I want some too. That's only fair. Knock yourself out. No, I just want to chat. I'm not falling for that one again. Chat yourself out then. Deal. I accept. Do you really think my artwork is good? Hmm. Sometimes I get the feeling that you guys are just being nice to me. Other times I get the feeling that my artwork can control people's minds. I'm not sure which one's more real. So I know, while I was drawing over there, you were getting a dose of all my greatest secrets. Should share some of his to get even. <laughs> well, to be honest, he's a great person. I know he says lots of mean stuff and he's not much to look at, but I guess that stuff doesn't really matter when his soul is so clean, you know? Don't tell him I said this, but sometimes I bug him a lot on purpose just to see if I can get him to his breaking point. It's an acting exercise I made up. But as bad as I get, I don't think he has a breaking point. He inspires me. He may be pretty smart and all, but if you ask me, he's pretty out of touch with things. Luckily, he has me to remind him of the beauty of art and love and monologues. I'm happy he exists. We're some kind of crazy family. The best kind. Hey, how is everything going? Good. Just a mellow evening in for us. No funny business. Yeah, he wouldn't even let me tell jokes. Not even the relaxing ones. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. Well, I don't mean to cut this evening short, but these lads and I have another appointment. Tis true. We are the busiest of busybody bees. Alright, I'll leave you out.
You didn't tell any secrets, did you? Only when I knew you wouldn't hear. Uh, you're so obtuse. No, uh I'm a cute, and you know it. Fine, but then I get to be the right triangle. Whatever. I never liked geography anyways. <laughs>